Hello everyone and let's talk an ebook titled Strega. This was written by Joanne Like Holm. I'm guessing that's how that is said. Uh, this was translated from Swedish and the translator is uh, Saskia Vogel. Not sure if I said that right. This was a, originally published in 2020 in the Swedish version. The translation was published in 2022 and this is a standalone. There was an audiobook narrated by Kristen Sai by Kristen. <laughs> and the audiobook is four hours and 26 minutes on standard one time speed. This is told in first person. Um, I'm going to give the caveat on this one. It was not for me. I actually, I read this. So as I said, this is an ebook and I actually deleted it from my Kindle. It is tagged as a horror on Goodreads. I would say this is not a horror, maybe more have more like light horror aspects, but I would not classify this as a horror book. Uh, novella, you, in this one we are following, it's told in first person and it is very kind of lyrical and poetic in its writing. We're following Rafaela, who is a 19 year old. Um, there is talk of death and she basically goes to this kind of convent place, but it's more like they're close to an actual convent with nuns. So there's like two that are close, they're separated by a little forest or wooded area. But they talk more of witchcraft. And I would say this one, it's not really a convent that she goes to, but it's a convent-like place. Men go and they're supposed to make the men happy. Um, but you're not seeing any sex or anything. That's just the vibe that it gives. Uh, one woman goes missing and so you're following as two of her, of her friends, especially are trying to figure out what happened and try to piece things together. If you like very poetic, lyrical writing, then you might like this one. Um, but I mean, that's pretty much it. It's a novella. A girl goes missing. They're trying to figure things out. There's talk of witchcraft. Um, and yeah, and they end up talking to a nun and things like that. People tend to keep their distances when they find out where she's from because there's not a lot of good reputation to this place that uh, the character is stationed at. And basically trying to find their way in life. Is this something they really want to do or can they leave and go make their own path in life? That's pretty much what this book is about. Again, very lyrical Poetic. I can't stress that enough and I'm finding that doesn't always work for me personally so if you really like that then this might be a better fit for you um, so yeah that's pretty much what it is I think for me I think this would have done better maybe in a longer format and not quite so lyrical but the and here's the thing with translated books what is there something that was added or lost in the translation? And if I, if I spoke and understood Swedish, would I have enjoyed the book better? You know, it's hard, that's hard to tell with translations and it's, you know, you can only do so much and, and that's, that's really the hard thing. I love reading translated books, but there's always the risk that something could get lost or has to be added to convert certain words that are common in one language but are not used at all. Like there's not really a word that fits a certain word. Like, I don't know, it's spray <laughs> or spritz. Maybe that word, there's not a, a word that can be translated to in any other language for that particular word. So they kind of have to come up with something different. I've heard of that happening before. Do I know of an example? No, but I have heard of that happening quite a bit. Is that the case in this? I don't know. Uh, let's see. So what can I tell you? That's pretty much what this book is about. As far as the content warnings, nothing is standing out to me. It is, I would say, more on the darker side. 
there is someone I saw that talked about this and she said it's more like a lyric, uh, not lyrical, literary, literary fiction. So I would say it's a darker literary fiction. Um, don't think of it as being, oh, it's literary fiction. It's going to be light, kind of contemporary and fluffy. No, it's darker. It takes place in the mountains and it's kind of has this cold setting. So it gives cold vibes for the book. Uh, as far as the word usage, you have God used in a religious sense one time. You have the phrase God forsaken one time and nipple one time. So again, there are vibes that these women need to pleasure men, but you're not actually seeing anything. And these women clean and take care of this place. Um, and the person that's over them that watch their caretaker, I guess, is the only word I can think of, headmistress, whatever word you want to use, um, doesn't give nice vibes, gives strict and stern, but is not very nice to these young ladies. So, yeah, you have a lot of smoking and in this as well. So, yeah, not much I can say with it being a novella. Uh, I don't recall how long. Let me look it up. I'm not quite sure how long this book was. Let's see. Okay, it says that the hardcover is 208. I read a ebook. Is there an ebook? The Kindle it says is 206. It's generally a little shorter if you're not reading the about the author and things like that. So right around 200 pages. So definitely more like a novella. Um, but yeah, so let me know. Have you read this? Now the author does have other books out. So this has a 3.23 star rating on uh, average star rating on Goodreads. There are other books out. But I can't tell you what they are because it looks like they're all... Oh, here's one that has a translation. Um... Oh, two of them. Okay. Alright, there's two I can tell you it looks like. Maybe three? Anyway, there's one called Celestine. No, because it lists Joanne like Holm as the translator. So books. So she's so Joanne has translated some books. And the other books, those are the ones that I'm seeing where it's listed lists the translator. So she has translated some books, which I am assuming in this Swedish since her book was translated from Swedish. Um but as far as the other books under her profile on Goodreads, I'm not seeing anything with a title that doesn't have those like certain symbols that some languages have over certain letters, like little dots and stuff. Um, so nothing I can pronounce <laughs> on there. So there are other works listed under the author, but nothing I can pronounce. So yeah, I will put in the description box a thing to the to, to this book so that you can look more into it if you think this might be something that you would like or to look more into the author's profile especially if you understand and can read Swedish maybe you might like some of the author's other works as well um, in the original language who knows so yeah let me know have you read Strega I'm sorry I don't have much to tell about it it's a short story um, and again that's really all it is there is I would say do be cautious there is gore there is quite a bit of talk of blood especially at the beginning about a man coming for death and I do admit the talk this was rather confusing to me because it was talk of like her and so I'm like is she really dead and now she's in this like facility for people that are dead but can't fully cross over so it was a little confusing to me um, but again, could that be a translation issue that I just wasn't connecting with it and then a reader to the page type of a thing or how it was written? I don't know. Um, so it was confusing to me. So yeah, but let me know. Um, I think these would take, you know, there's a book for everyone. So let me know, is this book for you? Is this one that you would definitely be interested in? I can see um, some people liking this and this being a book that you either like it or you don't. You either understand it or like me, you don't. <laughs> so let me know if you have read this, where you fall on it. Um, if you liked it or not, let me know. Talk to me in the comment section below. And until next time, stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book. And I will talk to you later.